Hey everybody, it's Dave here from Dragon Hill Games, and we are back with Commander Legends Collector Booster box opening number three. And I want to say thank you to Robert S. for sponsoring this box. He says, Dave, I have just a few simple requests. He doesn't want a, a Lotus. Well, he said, you know what? I'll take one. Thanks very much. However, I really would just like a shiny Mana Drain or a shiny Vampiric Tutor. All right, Robert, we're going to see if we can make that happen for you. All right, so box number three. This has been a wild round of openings. We had a foil extended art jeweled lotus in our very first box opening. So if you guys haven't seen that, I'll put that up there. Make sure you check that out. It was pretty wild, I have to say. I really do like this Thalys. I'm going to make a deck out of that. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, keep your eyes open for that one. We have an Amphin Mutineer, then a, an Extended Art Non-Foil Fleshbag Marauder, an Extended Art Non-Foil Zat's Will. It's another nice one there. Malcolm the Keen Eye Navigator, Atana the Blood Sower, and Karak the Thumbless. I really like this. Coin flip decks are a lot of fun. Okay, pack number two. So what are you guys thinking of all this set? I mean, I ask that all the time, but I really kind of do want to know. I love reading the comments. I love what you guys have to say about sets like this. This is definitely a new offering from Magic the Gathering. There is a foil command tower. I haven't seen a whole lot of those. Or foil soul rings, I'll be honest with you. There's just, not even foil, there's just not a whole lot of the soul rings in here. Much less than I thought there would be. A Mnemonic Deluge. A borderless, or I guess extended art, Boros Charm. I keep getting busted for saying that. I keep saying borderless. I guess they are extended arts. And a Wheel of Misfortune. That's a new offering from this set for sure. Abomination of Lanwar. And then we have an Akiri Line Slinger. And a Neveranal Urborg Tyrant. So his disc was also in this set. Good old classic card, Nev's Disc. Yeah, I mean, we didn't have an opportunity to draft. I know I keep saying that as well, but uh, this set would have been so much fun. So I'm hoping to still have the opportunity to do that some point down the road. There's an abomination of Lanoir, just the regular sort of pack foil. It's pretty cool. Ember Wild Captain, and then we have an extended art Opal Palace. Here we have an extended art training center. So these obviously are the new commander lands. And this would be the Is It Color one. An Anara Wolvid Familiar. A Siddhar Kondo of Jemura. Awesome names in this set. And a Kawain Iderent Meddler. Okay. Salamander Token. So yeah, really fun, fun set. Going to be a ton of Commander Brews coming out of all of this stuff. I'm really actually excited to see some of the decks that people put together have been so busy with things like box openings and there's a foil extended art sashikima's will and there's a nice extended art soul ring so those are definitely a good hit to get and a horizon stone so this is five mana it's an artifact if you would lose unspent mana that mana becomes colorless instead i'm sure people will be brewing around that particular card there's an akiri something something the usurper Again, our came a Weaver, and we have a Treasure Token. Yeah, like I was saying, I think there's going to be a ton of awesome new brews around this stuff. And so many partner commanders, I'm sure that is going to be cropping up in the future with future sets. I mean, partner is not going to go away. There is a Foil Extended Arts Terramorphic Expanse. We have another Nev. This is the regular sort of pack type version. And there's a foil staff of domination. So that was definitely a big include in this set. Staff of domination was really climbing up there. So it's cool to see that that got a reprint. It's definitely a commander staple. Preordain extended art and vault of champions. So there's the Orzov commander land. I gotta be honest, that's the first one of those that I've seen too. So really nice hit there. Cyani. Then we have a Taima and a Yurlock of Scorch Thrash. We did a video, sort of a top 10 on this one. So if that's something that interests you, check that out. I'll put that up there for you. 
Yeah, thanks again for all of the sponsored openings we had for the channel this time around. You guys are really awesome. And I'm glad to see we got some really nice hits in some of the sponsored boxes. Chris yesterday had a uh, foil extended art um, opposition agent. So again, I'll put that up there if that's, there's a foil three visits. This is one that was uh, really hard to get your hands on. It was only printed in uh, Portal Three Kingdoms up until now. So yeah, thanks again. Ooh, there's a foil vampiric tutor. Really nice. Always an expensive card, so really, really nice to get a hit like that in this box. Really sweet. So we did make some of your requests happen there, Robert. And then we have a an extended art generous gift and an extended art court of cunning. Arumi the Dead Tide, Kaidel, a chosen of Kufrix, and a Jared. And a Jared. <laughs> I'm not even gonna attempt some of these names. Honestly, this set's uh, brutal. A lot of reprints from Portal 3 Kingdoms too, so there's some of those older sort of samurai type names in those uh, in, on these cards as well. Okay. There's a Captain Vergus Wrath. I kind of want to build a deck around this guy. He's pretty neat. So we'll see. So we got a Borderless, or I guess Extended Art Court of Cunning, and then we got a Foil Extended Art Court of Cunning as well. An Arcane Signet Extended Art, so that's really neat. I wasn't sure if these were available in sets prior to this, but uh, someone did mention in the comments of one of my videos that this is the first extended art treatment we've seen of that card. So that's really cool. Spectator Seating, another one of the Commander Lands, Radiant Sarah Archangel, Brago King Eternal, and a Gore Muldrak. Wow, that Vampiric Tutor is really sweet. Always nice to have more tutors in Commander for sure. They are always going to be in high demand, so it's really good to get some more supply out there into the marketplace for sure. Team or Battle Rage, interesting. I wonder if you can get extended arts of virtually every card in this set. That's kind of neat. Okay. A Course of Recruiter, this guy's really cool. Bunch of new awesome pirates in this set too, right? And then we have an extended art Findhorn Elves, so that's really cool. And Hamza, Guardian of Asherin. A Najila, the Blade Blossom. And then we have an Akroma Vision of Ixidor. And one actually flew out of my hand and landed just over there off camera. So we got an Extended Art Rings of Bright Earth. So really awesome hit there as well. A couple of really nice ones for you this time around, Robert. All right. Raise the Alarm would have been a really good include for sure, considering this was supposed to be drafted. That's always a fun card to have in draft. All right, there is an Arumi of the Dead Tide. We have a Kamel's Will, Extended Art Foil, Fact or Fiction, another classic card. There's a Court of Ire, and a Falthus Shadowcat Familiar, Ludwig, and Azara Renegade Recruiter. So yeah, like I mentioned, this will be um, sort of the last box opening we do of Commander Legends. So hit me up in the comments. I really do want to hear what you guys are thinking of this set. Burnished Hearts, another one to always um, that gets a lot of play for sure in Commander. So these are always in high demand. I'm constantly sold out of those in the store. So really good to see cards that are um, you know in high demand ending up in the set. We always need more supply of this regular sort of basic type Commander stuff out there. Commander Sphere Extended Art, a Port Razor, another new awesome pirate. And then we have a Keleth, a Sun Main Familiar, a Karametra God of Harvest. So that's a really cool looking card. Yeah. I do have a buddy that has a deck of that as well, and Bel Borka. So it's really nice to see some more Karametras getting out there. I don't think that's had a reprint really as since, uh, what was that, Journey to Nyx, I guess, probably for that one. So it's really cool to see a reprint on that one as well. There's a foil borderless ex or foil extended art fact or fiction. So that's a really nice one. We have a Kangi, an Essior, an Acrotic Hex, 
Then we have three visits extended art. So again, we were talking about that one being a reprint from Portal Three Kingdoms, A Soul of Eternity, and a Galatian Power Stone Engineer. Okay, and a Lisa Shroud of the Dusk. Last pack, good luck, Robert. Again, thank you for sponsoring this video. Again, I really do appreciate all the sponsored videos of this time around, guys. Okay. Prismatic Piper Foil. So he's like something like a one in six include in the sort of regular packs. All right, we have Gore Muldrak Amphiologist. We have a Hellkite Courser Extended Art Foil. So that's a really nice one. Hard to tell this is a foil. Some of these, I'll be honest with you. So, but that's really cool. An Extended Art Reliquary Tower. A Dawn Glade Regent. And then we have Togo Goblin Weaponsmith. Uh, Bruce Tari Brutish Herder. <laughs> And Averna the Chaos Bloom. Okay, so a couple of really nice hits from that. We had the Rings of Bright Earth Extended Art and the Foil Vampiric Tutor. Congratulations, Robert. Again, thanks for sponsoring this video. If you guys enjoyed watching this, go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps me out, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.